tell me my eyes are deceiving me and you are not really standing here right now. I uh, wanted to thank Johnny in person. I don't know which of you two is more insane. You standing here fresh from almost losing your kitty or this one hosting a freaking cocktail party in his ICU room with a couple of fresh bullet holes in his chest. I'm sorry, Miss Falconeri. I'm a little slow. Uh, I get it confused sometimes, like right now. I, I, who are you actually more angry with here? That'd be me. Do you have any consideration for the hell that I've been through for the last couple of days? I thought you was me. Hey, no, don't, don't, don't be flip about this. <laughs> you were shot and you almost died. For what reason? No warning, no reason, because you happen to be in the wrong warehouse at the wrong time. Okay, and I'm supposed to I'm supposed to laugh at that? Let that roll off my back like, oh well, just another day in mob land. No. Johnny, you scared the crap out of me. Okay? I'm no way near ready to lose you. And so for you to be completely reckless with your life, that is unacceptable to me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're in it for the bullet holes, and I got you apologizing for it. Nice. Well, you are one complicated woman. Well, that's the least you deserve. You don't have to wait outside. You need to check the patient. Yeah. How did you do it? Don't think you're off the hook. Go ahead, Ma. Have well, at me. In the name of heaven, possess you to drag your ass out of the hospital bed and trek all the way across town. Um, well, I already told you I was, uh... Acknowledging John for taking an ambush that should have been mine. I, I was paying respect. Or die trying, huh? That's stupid. Let me ask you something. How long are you going to risk your life for John's Akara? Because believe me, the stakes are that high. Honey, nothing that's going on here has anything to do with John and me. Nothing. Wow. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping you're delusional because there's no way my mother could be this naive. Open your eyes and realize the world you've stepped into since you've left Bensonhurst, Ma. It's chock full of criminals. You got Sonny on the left, you got Johnny on the right, and you got your undercover son, me, smack dab in the middle. You can't win. When I take Sonny down, even, even if I were inclined to let Johnny slide, your boyfriend's gonna realize you were lying to him about the guy who infiltrated. Now, I, I for the first time, see how much you really like this guy, but he is still a Zakara. Okay, and that kind of betrayal, that kind of betrayal in his world spells death. Johnny would never hurt me. Oh, my God. You are so clueless right now. It, it really looks terrible on you. You know that? He has an arrest record as long as I am tall. He's in line to inherit a major crime enterprise. I, you cross him. I don't care how many times you guys have rolled around in the hay together. He will kill you, Ma, in a heartbeat. You could throw out scare tactics till you're blue in the face. Okay, I got no fear of Johnny. He would never hurt me. Hmm. Your face is very touching, Mom. Do you think it extends to Jason Morgan? Do you think someone's gonna stop him from putting a bullet in your head when he finds out I'm undercover and you've been lying to him about me? Why are you doing this? Oh, so you can maybe, for once, understand that you have to cut your ties, get out of this town, go back to Brooklyn, where you're gonna be safer. Okay, all right. All right, I'll go back to Brooklyn on one condition. You're coming with me, all right? This town, Port Charles, it's no fun park for you either, okay? And between the two of us, I'm betting on you to get killed first. You already almost died. No, I was saving a little boy. I know, honey, I know. You were just following an instinct that came natural. But, but, but what about down the road when Sonny and Jason find out what you're really up to? They're going to look back on this whole thing at the carnival. It's going to look like you took advantage of an opportunity to ingratiate yourself. Who's got a bullet in the head now, huh? Okay, so, I will do what you ask. But you gotta come with me. That is impossible. It's not impossible. We just pack up and we go. Well, it's not gonna happen. Uh, what, now, now, taking down Sonny's more important than your life? You know what? I could die trying to cross the street. Sonny and guys of his kind have gone far too many years breaking the law with impunity, profiting from people's weakness or, or their misery, deciding who lives or dies as if they have the right. You know what I want? When I was a kid, in the neighborhood, I used to hear people say Sonny's name, and they, they always spoke about it with, with, with respect and awe. 
And, and they used to talk about being a well-dressed thug, like, like it was something to aspire to or be proud of. And you know, what about all those cops who died trying to stop those guys? Who reveres them, huh? You want to know who, ma? Me. And if I die trying to stop Sonny Corinthos, well, you know what? I can think of a hell of a lot less meaningful ways to go out. I cannot argue with anything you're saying. And I am so proud of you. I'm just not going to let you be one of those dead cops that you're talking about. Okay. Hey, there she is. This one, this one's been <laughs> tracking me down everywhere. I'm, I'm here to see Johnny. Oh, you came to the right place. Uh, yeah, the nurse was just checking him out. She said we could uh, go on in there as soon as she finished. And everything good in here? Yeah, good. Okay, here you go. What are you doing here? I heard you were shot. I mean, I just wanted to make sure that you were still breathing. Yeah, see for yourself. So, uh, what's the prognosis? For recovery. Good. Um, you should know 